just like that. Got three more to go. Well, good afternoon, folks, and uh, welcome back. And I do thank you all for watching, and I do thank all my subscribers. And uh, before I get into the boat build, I do have a uh, little small favor to ask of you and uh, kind of has to do with some improvements that I want to uh, make to the channel. Uh, what I want to do is conduct like a kind of like an informal survey. If you are a subscriber to this channel, then uh, you already know the answer to this question. But if you're not a subscriber, what I'd like to know is how you came across this channel. And again, like I said, it has to do with some uh, ideas that I have uh, for making improvements to this channel. Uh, but if you are not a subscriber, and uh, let's just say um, this, let's just say this channel popped up in your recommended video feeds randomly, or maybe you did a search for woodworking videos and, and this came back in the search results, or you did a search for boat build videos and this came up in the search results. Uh, if you found uh, the channel uh, by one of those means, uh, drop me a little comment uh, down in the uh, comment section and just let me know. And uh, I now I'll give you a little heads up. I do moderate my comments. I do approve all of them, but I check the comments every uh, three or four days or so, and they will get posted. But if you could do that, uh, you know I would appreciate it, and uh, you know that would help me out. Uh, from here going forward with some changes that I'm kind of kicking around for the channel. Okay folks, so with all that said, uh, let's talk about what I need to get done today. And what I still need to get done is all that glass work right here in these corners that I've been talking about for what seems like forever. And uh, same over here. And uh, I've already got these pieces of glass cut and uh, I had those edges trimmed off. and. Uh, I'll talk about that a little bit more in a minute as to why I had to trim these edges. But I um, need to go ahead and get that done. And uh, when I get ready to lay the resin down, I'm not just going to apply resin to uh, this area where I got to lay down the tape. I need to apply resin to the entire bottom of the compartment and as well as the side right here. And of course, that is for waterproofing. So. I will get the camera set up. Now I'm only going to take you through uh, one of these. I'm not going to show you all four compartments. Uh, you know, once I do one, then you kind of get the idea. So let me get the camera set up, like I said, and I'll be right back.
Okay, folks, so that is what I have been talking about right here. And the reason I trimmed the edge off of that first piece was so I wouldn't have that, that high spot underneath that second piece right there. And as I've explained in the past, if I don't trim that edge, I've got that little piece of fiberglass woven into the edge of the tape. Now, if I don't trim that off, then I'm going to end up with a, a bump and a high spot all along uh, that little strip of glass right there and uh, that can create air bubbles so it's just easier if I go ahead and just trim that off before I lay a second piece on that so that's it all I have to do now is do the other three compartments and I will be back when I get those done I'll be back in a moment well okay just like that we're done all four of these compartments two over here two over there Got that fiberglass tape down in that lower corner where the bottom of the boat meets the side of the boat. And uh, like I mentioned earlier, I just felt like uh, I needed to do everything I could to make this corner right here as strong as possible because I do feel like that could be a potential high stress area. And so we just wanted to uh, beef that up a little bit. Even though, yes, I did beef up the outside corners. But you know what they say, you know, if a little bit is good, then a whole lot is better. And so, all we have to do now is just let that resin fire off and wait for that to cure. Now, I did have a little accident over here. I ended up doing just a little bit more this afternoon than I intended to do. Uh, right here in this aft compartment, aft of the uh, bulkhead here. I was working this area and uh, laid my cup down in here and uh, just to get it out of my way while I was working the tape over here in the forward section and I ended up spilling a bunch of resin in this compartment and so I had to uh, go ahead and work that because uh, that resin was running everywhere of course you know it's a nice warm day so that stuff it was flowing everywhere I mean it even went under the stringer and into this other compartment over here and so I just went on ahead and took my rollers and spread it around and then very quickly made up some thickened epoxy and went on ahead and uh, applied the thickened epoxy in those corners right there in those lower corners uh, there at the bottom of the boat got it taken care of got the mess cleaned up no big deal so anyway with all that said I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video and folks uh, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video uh, let me know how you found this video if uh, it just uh, showed up randomly in your recommended video feeds um, you know, if you were doing a search for uh, woodworking videos or boat build videos and, and this came up in the search results, just let me know. And uh, like I say, if you're a subscriber, then we already know the answer to that question. We, we know how it popped up in, in your recommended feed. So, uh, again, if you are a subscriber, thank you. Thank you very much. You know, I do appreciate each and every one of you. And uh, so, like I said, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, call that a video and call that a wrap. And folks, we will see you next time. Take care.